Hi YouTube, it's VSG and Me 2011 or Dana. Um, I am feeling really good. <laughs> I'm still having some pain on my left side, but it is way, 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 way better, way better than um, than it has been. And um, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just pushing through it. <laughs> I'm not taking pain medicine during the day anymore, um, but I do take a little bit at night to go to sleep because it really does hurt when I when I turn at night. So um, I already made a video, and it ended up being 16 minutes long, and I don't want it to be that long. So um, I'm gonna watch the clock and redo it, and hopefully it'll be shorter. Okay, uh, let's do numbers. I'm so excited. Okay, at my pre-op appointment with my doctor on February 8th, 2011, I weighed 299.2. That was the heaviest I've ever weighed, knowingly weighed. Um, I, I go through times where um, I wouldn't weigh myself, times I didn't even own a um, scale. <laughs> I've broken a couple not because I weighed too much and I broke it. Um, one we had was glass. I loved it. It was really pretty. It was easy to clean. I kicked it into my toilet and it just shattered. I was like, this is ridiculous. So we now have a super cheapy one from Walmart that is hopefully indestructible. Maybe eventually I'll um, spring for you know a really nice one or something, but for now, it's very similar to uh, my doctor's office scale, so I'm really not going to worry about it. Okay, so my, my highest weight was 299.2. Uh, my surgery day weight was 282.6, which was uh, 16, 16 .6 pound loss uh, pre-op. Um, then, uh, my first week post-op was on March 15th, 2011. That was two days ago. Um, and I weighed 273.4. So I lost 8.2 pounds my very first week. And I've had a total weight loss of 25.8 pounds. I am going to count my pre-op weight loss because um, it was basically the, the liquid diet. So... Uh, that I was on after surgery anyway. So, um, things are going better in the food department. I am, oh, please excuse my dog barking. Um, I have a regular schedule that I'm eating, eating on. Um, I have a shake first thing in the morning. I drink three cups of water. I have another shake around lunch. I drink three cups of water. Um, I will have a very small cup of soup. Um, I found some really smooth soups at Whole Foods. Um, potato leek, butternut squash, um, and then some just regular old tomato soup. Um, I know the potato leek and the butternut squash have carbs, but I'm having such a small amount of them. It really is just more for flavor. So, um, Excuse me just a minute. Okay. Uh, my kids just went out in the backyard and I have a feeling they're going to come look in my bathroom window. What are you doing in there? Okay. Um, I'll take about a fourth of a cup of that of soup and I will mix half a cup of milk with it and then I tend to eat about half of that. So, um, not much. <laughs> And especially not much in the way of carbs. So, um, and it makes me feel like I'm not depriving myself of real food. So, um, and everything has been sitting perfectly fine on my stomach. Uh, let's see. So I'm feeling pretty good about all that. I'm not hungry. I, I am seriously looking forward to mushy foods. I have about a week and a half to go um, until I can do that. I have to be three weeks post-op. And um, 
I am really excited about it, let me tell you. <laughs> um, an egg with some cheese on it, just, it's making my mouth water. <laughs> so, um, but I know that this, you know, this whole liquid phase right here, um, getting in on my water, it's just going to result in more weight loss, so I'm cool with it. Um, Banded Wendy said the other day, I think on her proof weight loss surgery works I think it was on her uh, her video for that uh, what that um, YouTube channel she said food is fuel that I need not fun that I want and after I watched that it was like a light bulb went off and I was like yeah exactly Food is fuel that I need, not fun that I want. And it has really helped me, as because I, I still have to cook dinner for my family. You know, I'm not single. I'm not just fixing stuff for me. I have to cook dinner for my family because they still have stomachs and they are hungry. <laughs> and so I can't not cook for them. I just can't not cook for them, you know. And um, I did that the first... Um, kind of toward the end of my pre-op diet, beginning of me being home after surgery. And um, they ate a lot of corn dogs and pizzas and stuff like that. And they were all like, when are you going to start cooking? Because, you know, I mean, that stuff, that's not really filling you up. So um, I started cooking this week and um, cooking healthy, you know, foods and um and they really enjoyed it. And at the beginning of the week, I was really struggling with cooking and not eating it. And I was like, man, it smells so good. I want to eat it. I think I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. And uh, I really think more, it's more that I'm thirsty. So anyway, um, um, but this, this quote from Man and Wendy really, really helped me. And I was like, you know what? I've got to start changing my mental attitude about it right now. Um, I am not depriving myself of anything. I am, I am fueling my body every day with the amount of fuel that it needs to survive and live and to get rid of this fat. And I am helping my sleeve to heal properly and I am preventing leaks, and all of that is really good for me. And de denying myself chicken and things that are healthy, but they aren't healthy for me now, right now. And that's okay. It's okay to say, okay, the shakes are what I have to have now, not, not the chicken. And it's okay. And I'm not depriving myself of anything that my body needs, that my body needs to be healthy. So, I wanted to say thank you, Ben Manded Wendy. I don't even know if she watches my channel or not, but anyway, thank you for that. I really appreciated you saying that because it was really a light bulb moment for me. So, um, still having some significant pain on my left side. Um, I'm not using pain medicine during the day anymore. Um, I cannot find liquid Tylenol over the counter. It had, something was in it and they recalled it. I don't know if it's just this area or what, but it, I can't find it anywhere. So, I'm just, um, not taking anything during the day. And, um, at night I'll take a little bit of Lortab, uh, because it is painful to turn over still. But, I'm, I'm getting good sleep because I feel rested when I wake up and I don't feel like I need a nap in the afternoons anymore. Um... But, you know, what are you going to do? So, um, I guess that's about it. I um, had a few more things that I talked about in my other video, because obviously it was 16 minutes long. But, um, I'm feeling good. I can tell, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I can tell when I look in the mirror that here and here, my neck and my cheeks feel, look thinner, um, than they did, which, yay, I'll take it. Uh, my fingers aren't as fat as they used to be. <laughs> um, I mean, they're still chubby, but, uh, my ring is not, um, is not leaving a mark 
on my finger like it used to do. So, um, yay. And, um, and then I think my boobs are smaller. <laughs> Sorry guys if that's TMI, but, um, my bras actually fit. I had to adjust the straps to as tight as they could go because, um, they just weren't doing, they weren't doing anything. So, um, and they stay, my boobs are staying in my bra. So, yay for that. <laughs> um, anyway, I guess that's about it. Everything's going really good. And um, I'm ready to not be in pain anymore. But I know that'll eventually come. And until then, I, you know, when I hurt, I sit down and rest. And when I don't, I get up and move. So, um, I'm getting about, oh, um, I'm getting nine cups of water a day in now. Yay. I can swallow about two teaspoons at a time. I don't know if that's normal or what, but it's a swallow instead of a tiny little, you know, sip, which really helps in getting the water in. Um, and I'm getting about mm, 65 to 70 grams of protein a day. So um, I'm having a hard time with the vitamins. They are gross. If anybody has a kind that you just love, I tried the Flintstones, nasty. Um, the Celebrate isn't too bad, the grape kind isn't too bad. I just, the flavors and tastes this last week have been a real struggle for, struggle for me. Um, but it's getting better, so. Uh, anyway, alright, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I'm hoping to, to make sure that I do these on Tuesdays, which is my surgery day. I was, um, had surgery on a Tuesday, so hopefully I'll have another one on next Tuesday and I'll have more weight loss, um, to report. So, 25.8 pounds down and gone forever. Yay! I am out of the 280s forever. Never to see them again. <laughs> and hopefully by Tuesday I'll be out of the 270s. I haven't been in the 260s for probably a year or two. So anyway, hope everybody has a great week and, um, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.